was the band ever uh, close to stopping? Well, yeah, it was. It was either the, you know that decision or um, you know, right, let's all pack our bags. But yeah, it's either I, yeah, I take the songs elsewhere and do something else with them, probably, yeah. or the three of us who want to make it work continue. And uh, yeah. and even at that point, you know, there's still the thought that, well. This is, you know, changed fundamentally from what we were, you know, so there's a very strong possibility here we might not be able to make this work again. You know, we didn't know that one, I guess, the people that came in to play guitar and do things with us, or the new members of the band that came in, was, we didn't know that was going to work. You know, it's conceivable that you're not going to find somebody again creatively that you can share that thing that you need to when you're a band. So there was also the possibility that you know, it crossed my mind that just the three of us would make an editor's record, just, just three of us. And I think we could have maybe done that, but you don't know, do you? It's like yeah. fully aware at that, at that point when all this vast unknown and everything's been, everything's changed and everything that you, you know, were, knew how to, how it, we knew how it worked before and it, it was all changed. And so there's, of course, there's a, there's a realization then that you're thinking, well, in a year's time, will we have a record out or will we, you know, yeah. be doing something else? Who came up with Justin? Flood. <laughs> Flood, yeah. Yeah? Uh, yeah. yeah. How come? Why? Uh, basically, um, uh, Flood had, had Justin under his wing for uh, quite some time um, and uh, he was kind of training him to be a producer, really, because uh, Flood had done a, a You Okay Name Is Minor record. And, um, you know, Flood had done two recording sessions with us that had um, <laughs> not worked out very well. And so he kind of knew what personality we might need to have in our band, you know. And Justin's a, a really creative guy and really, really flexible. And you know, just um, he would listen to ideas from other members, and especially Ed, who really came to the like the forefront in in the band, you know, on this record. You know, it was, it was totally amazing to see him in the studio this time around. Mm -hmm. So. F Flood knew what you needed. Yeah, in a way, yeah. I mean, you know, when we told Flood what had happened, you know, he was obviously shocked, but yeah. um, he wasn't it, surprised. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So we're like, and uh, yeah, it, he'd recorded a record with Justin a long time ago, and c kept in contact, like like Russ said, and he knew the kind of personality that he was, and he thought that mm. he was, you know, he's the polar opposite of what what Chris is. Um, uh, so yeah, it was it was it was Flood's idea, and. Um, yeah, it was. He came in. He came in to do prim primarily to do a show that we had, but we had a commitment to do a show, a big show, <laughs> the biggest show we'd ever done. And when when Chris let when Chris had gone, I was like, let's cancel this show and work out how to fix. What what show was it? We were headlining Rock Verkta, um, yeah. which is which is you know as big as it gets really for a band. And yeah. then um, so about like three or is it like three months beforehand. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, even closer than that, I think. But. So, but yeah. Russ and Ed were like, no, we need, we should do this, you know. It, it, it made why? Up. Why? Why did you want to do it? Um, because we made our decision, you know, that we weren't going to have Chris with us. So, if we're going to carry on, then we have to do it, you know. <laughs> um, and let's, let's go for it, you know. It's like, let's do something, yeah. you know. A bit fed up of sitting around. <laughs> yeah, we've been sitting around for, yeah, for two know. years in the rehearsal room. It's like, oh. yeah, let's, you know, let's do it and. Um, also, I, I didn't want to just have uh, one person stepping in, you know, just to... Because essentially you can be playing a lot of Chris's material, you know, on guitar. And um, didn't want to just be the new guitarist because everyone would be like, oh, it's not the same. And the, the point is, it isn't the same. <laughs> um, and we wanted Elliot to come in and play piano and uh, sing, sing and... Why? Know, we done why, a lot of, why him? Why? Why? Oh, why, he, why he, fifth member? Well, we're a fifth member because we'd done a lot of touring with um, with REM, and I th was it five members? Yeah. So six members, and the whole thing was just a bit more musical. Yeah. Like uh, you f we felt a little bit restricted by the f just four of us on stage. So an extra pair of hands gives you a chance to, mm. and an extra set of lungs as well. D uh, um, yeah, yeah, just keyboards, piano, uh, acoustic the guitars, do the guitars. Vocals, you know, which like, you know, me and Ed can have a go, but, you know, we're not really singers, so... Uh, and, you, and you could say, I mean, you could kind of sim simplify, oh, yeah, okay, so the sound gets bigger because there's another member, but that's not just it. It's like, it's more musical. There's more give and take between the musicality of, of, of yeah. five people. Uh, and I think we just reached a point in our career where we wanted to 
to have yeah. that flexibility and feel that way. And um, yeah, yeah, we had we had a, 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 I don't know some ideas of who could come in, and then I think both you know me and Tom at the same point you know were just like you know our manager said what about you know Elliot, and we're like yeah you know we really like Elliot, and yeah I could really see him like fitting in, and mm. you know because we, we you know we did quite a bit of touring with him, and yeah it was good. He's 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 a bit younger than us as well, which is kind of nice. Yeah, why? Uh, I don't know. He's, he's enthusiastic. I think the the two guys that we've got in are so enthusiastic. You know that. Um, you know that, that's good to have in a in a room to have to have energy. You know to to be able to start start talking and bouncing ideas around. Did you really ask them to be part of the band? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was you know the intent. We said, we said look, we we you know we we've got this show that we need to do. Um, we want you to come in and. And you know we want to do the show. That's that's the minimum that's going to happen. But also we were very open to start with. We you know we might throw some new songs around if it, and see how it goes. And you know if that goes well, then who knows? Maybe we'll make a record together. And then you know, and that you know then now you're in the band if you want. Do you want to be in the band? You know, you know all that kind of stuff. Because you don't know immediately that it's going to work out. But we were open that that was the possibility. When did when did you first have the idea? Well, now we are five piece. Now we're really a band with five people. Well, after after Verta, we yeah. just thought, um, you know, we've we've done this show, we've started writing, we played some new songs at that show. Um, let's continue it and continue the path because you know it started and we've been hanging around and deliberating for long enough. So it's like you know we've got something and let's work at it. So. <laughs> Did they like your previous work? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think you know. I think Elliot had seen it. Like Elliot came to see us when he was 17 on our first record. Yeah. And um, you know, Justin was, I guess, comes from a more left field background. Like his, your codename is Milo, was the name of his band, and just generally his like, <coughs> yeah, he will do things slightly more left field and you know less it, less commercial or whatever. And he'd always that's been, cool. well, you know, watching us from a distance, as he said. But mm. you know, the um... it's funny when you hear his take on what we were or are. Yeah. You know, like what did he say then? Well, because we're always like quite negative about like, you know, you you just you remember bad reviews more than good ones, don't you? Okay. So like we we always um, you know, we've never been a press band, but you kind of you just you get not down on yourself, but just you have a general negative attitude to the way that people look at you, and you three or four albums in now, you get kind of weary of it. And but Justin was like, well, no, you lot are. You, you're like a, a massive band that are kind of cool that nobody knows, and you know your fans love you. And, and it was just nice to hear someone be positive about us, blow smoke up our ass. I guess. Yeah. Um, what songs were actually written uh, when you went into the st studio as a five piece? Uh, the majority of them, really. I oh, mean, oh, yeah, yeah all, all of them in in a certain way. Things did change in the studio. Songs like Nothing or the Phone Book or you know, Phone Book kind of didn't. Yeah, I think like. Bird of Prey, I think, would yeah. we run, but yeah. Yeah, Bird of Prey. Yeah, that was the most be the, the end, most uncertain song. Mm. That you know, how are we going to do this? But I think yeah. se like 75, 80 percent of the record was. We'd done a lot of rehearsals in the time, you know. Uh, eight, so a lot of them were like were rehearsal room ready, you know, uh, as near as we've ever, we've ever been since making our debut record. I think, obviously, records two and three, the songs are younger, and you go in the studio with a less of an idea what's going to happen because you just don't have time. It's like. Yeah. Um, but we, you know, we'd spent a lot of time throwing them around, so they felt quite formed. And you know, making the, the type of record that we wanted to make, it, it's, we, you know, deliberately tried to make a more simple, straightforward record and a rock record, and kind of embracing those sensibilities and going to Nashville to make it with Jakia King, who really is kind of, he's a songs man, you know, he's about kind of getting most out of performances, and it's not about kind of any kind of trickery or covering things up. It's like about space and. Yeah. And the parts being right, so that helped because you know in a rehearsal room that's you've got five people playing and that's what you're trying to do, you know, make the most out of it every moment.